welcome to chemistry tutorial 360 today we are going to draw the Lewis dose structure for phosphorus pentachloride right okay to draw the Lewis dose structure for phosphorus pentachloride at first we have to find out the valence electron for phosphorus and then chlorine look at here the atomic number of phosphorus is 15 so if we do the electronic configuration then we'll get this look at here here the outermost cell uh, is third cell you know that the outermost cell is called valency cell and the electrons in valency cell are called valency electrons look at here here the highest value of principal quantum number n equal to 3 for n equal to 3 we have 2 plus 3 that is 5 valence electron right so phosphorus has five valence electron look at here we have another way to find out the valence electron for phosphorus look at here the group number tells us the number of valence electron for the element you know that phosphorus is element of group 5a that is why it's uh, is its valence electron is 5 you have to delete the second uh, number or letter or or you know that phosphorus is a is an element of group 15 so if you uh, detect the first digit then you will get 5 that is phosphorus has 5 valence electron now come to the chlorine this is the atomic number of chlorine so here the outermost cell is the third cell and for third cell chlorine has 2 plus 5 that is uh, 7 valence electron or you know that chlorine is a is an element of group 7a or 17 so if you uh, deduct the second digit then you will get 7 uh, for 17 if i deduct the first digit then you will get 7 right so in phosphorus pentachloride the number of valence electron in phosphorus is 5 and the number of valence electron in chlorine is 7 for one uh, one chlorine atom but here we have 5 chlorine atom so we have to multiply here by 5 so that gives us 35 right 35 so if I add then 35 plus 5 that is 40 valence electron in phosphorus pentachloride we are getting 40 valence electron totally in phosphorus pentachloride in the third step we have to select the central atom look at here uh, central atom is that type of atom that is single or that has lower electronegativity so here phosphorus is single and the electronegativity of phosphorus is lower than chlorine so phosphorus here is the central atom so in the fourth step i have to connect central atom with outer atom here we have five outer atom right look at here I have connected five outer atom with single uh, line this every line represent uh, every line represent two dots look at here every line represent two dots however look at here here we have used two four six eight ten so here we have used just ten valency electron so we have left 30 valency electron this 30 valence electron will be used to satisfy the octet for the outer atom first look at here we have uh, this chlorine has two valence electrons so we can add more six here to fulfill its octet so every chlorine will take six valence electron just to fulfill its octet right
octet look at here this chlorine has we have used uh, beside this we have used 6 so 6 times 5 that is uh, 30 so already we have used all the all the valence electron we have used uh, in outer atom uh, we have used uh, 40 valence electron totally in this structure and we have totally we have totally uh, we have totally 40 valence electron that is why we have nothing to do look at here now we have to find out the formal charge you know that this is the Lewis structure and we have to find out the formal charge look, look at here formal charge equal to valence electron minus dot minus line look at here for finding the formal charge for chlorine the valence electron for chlorine is 7 minus dot attached to this chlorine is 6 minus line attached to this chlorine is 1. Basically, we are getting 0. So, every chlorine will have 0, uh, every chlorine will have 0 formal charge. Right? Since all the chlorine are uh, similar or symmetrical. However, now we have to find out the formal charge for phosphorus. So the valence electron for phosphorus is 5 for electron configuration minus dot attached to this phosphorus is 0 minus line attached to this phosphorus is 5. So basically we are getting 0. Look at here. This phosphorus has 10 valence electron. 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That is more than 8. And this is exceptional, right? Look at here. Phosphorus, uh, the, in case of phosphorus, the valency shell is the third shell. In third shell, you know that uh, 3D orbital uh, is empty. For third shell, in phosphorus, 3D orbital is empty. Phosphorus can use this 3D orbital to hold more than 8 electrons, right? So, if, I, if anybody asks you why phosphorus breaks the octet rule, in this case, you will say that uh, in the third shell of phosphorus, there is an empty orbital that is 3D, and this 3D is responsible for breaking the octet rule, right? I will have a blog post in the description box of this video. You can read that blog post to get more ideas. So thank you for viewing this video. Be well.